it's Joey John Maguire. <coughs> I'm in my favourite local Weatherspoons, um, which is the Oyster Rooms, uh, first floor, uh, inside Fulham Broadway Underground Station, just inside the main doors of the Escalator, first floor. Lovely pub, lovely staff, uh, typical Weatherspoons, it's the Lloyds actually. Uh, I'm about to recite my latest uh, poem, which I wrote in the early hours of this morning. It is called An Unenviable Illusion. On the surface, she is a fine specimen of a woman, dresses well in all her finery, always but always carries a fine bouquet. She is, in fact, a head-turner, who presents with all the qualities one would expect of a well-heeled, discerning lady, head and shoulders above the rest. She is quite intoxicating, stands out from the crowd. You could be forgiven for being easily fooled that she was almost faultless. But everything and everyone has fault. That's where reality begins and where fantasy ends. Beneath Fantasia, her veneer, charismatic though it is, is very thin. Once breached, the illusion falls apart, and if intoxicated, beneath the fancy bling there is a monster that has waited a long time to be unleashed. It is her true self, from which, no doubt, she has been running for what must have been for her an eternity. Never before in life have I seen such a transformation from beauty to ugly with such rapid precision. From a distance, I thought I had found the perfect rose, my ultimate perfect ebony dream, but up close and personal, she wore the bitter thorns of ignorance that could be hidden from sight but were sharp to the touch. She was a Venus flytrap who for some obscure reason craved for revenge. Not a lady as I'd presumed, but a selfish, hurtful woman, dangerous with a capital D, someone to be avoided, like the plague, and she was not for me.